Hey everyone, summer is right around the corner for most of us. The hot weather means some changes in our routine and I wanted to come on and suggest some products that I have, many I've used for a long time, some are new to me, um, that I either use frequently, keep in my car, keep in my purse. Actually, I don't really keep any of this in my car, but I keep a lot of this in my purse um, or have handy in the house. So here we go. Um, sunscreen is huge. Sunscreen is, I cannot stress enough, if there's one product you need to use in the summer, really year round, but especially in the summer, it would be sunscreen. And there are a few that I recommend, and this isn't really a sunscreen video, but a couple I want to highlight. Um, what I'll do in my skincare routine in the summer, really only on the days when I know I'm sitting outside, not sunning, but like... Um, if I'm going to one of the kids sporting events or a barbecue or a pool party where I'm going to be maybe not getting in the water but I'm going to be outside. Pool parties for those of you that are grown-ups means that um, for those of you that are not as grown-up as me pool party when you get to be my age just means you're at a party outside near a pool it does not mean you take off your clothes and get in the pool. Okay because really you don't want to see a bunch of 40 something year old people in their bathing suits anymore. Just you know. um, So for the days where I know I'm going to be outside for an extended period of time, I will wash my face, I will put on all my serums and creams and moisturizers, and then as a primer, I use a sunscreen. And one that I use, I've used for years and I keep coming back to is the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Liquid Daily Sun Protection. This one's SPF 55, and it's tiny, see, it's about the size of my hand, and you have to shake it up. And um, I just put on a few drops like this drop drop and rub that in and this makes a great primer for makeup um, also I put it always on the back of my hands every day um, my aunt who is 70 years old and looks beautiful for her age has always always stressed to me that women take such amazingly good care of their face from here up and then it's like they forget that they have a body below that. And you'll see these women with these beautifully well-preserved faces, whether it's through skincare, Botox fillers, or what have you, but then they don't do anything from here down. So their necks, their decollete, and especially their hands are all age-spotted and sun-spotted and sun-damaged. So don't forget to put sunscreen on, especially on the back of your hands. So that's that. Um, a sunscreen that I keep in my purse um, when I'm out with my kids and frankly for me as well is this is a tiny little travel size. I picked this up at Target. This is a new one for this summer. For me, it's the Banana Boat Sport Performance Cool Zone SPF 30. It's a small thing. It's very lightweight. It's an aerosol, which is great for, it goes on clear. It's great for kids or really quickly. I, I can't tell you how often I'm at, like say my youngest son's baseball game and one of the other moms is like, oh, does anyone have sunscreen? And you just whip out your little bottle and you, you know, spray everyone around you. So there's that. The one that I keep for myself, um, that's more for, I think, for adults um, that want to take the time to actually rub it into their bodies, it's another Neutrogena. This is their Ultra Sheer Dry Touch. This one is an SPF 55 also. I didn't realize how strong the sun is already in Texas. I went out to uh, my youngest son plays in the league called 7-on-7. Seven Seven. It's a touch football league. It's, it's just doesn't matter what it is anyway so we're sitting outside and I totally it's almost better now fried just this one side I forgot to put sunscreen on and it was only in the 60s and it was wasn't that sunny and I didn't think I mean it hurts it's still you now it itches but I really wish I had already equipped my bag with this stuff so this is um, also looks white and um, the nice thing is that when you rub this on your body it, it dries to a powdery smooth finish almost immediately. It does have a fresh scent, it doesn't smell so sunscreeny. It's more of a fresh outdoor scent. So I, I recommend this for areas like around your neck, um, where you places when you don't want to spray, if you're in a crowded area, then this is good to have on hand. Um, if you are planning ahead of time and you know that you're gonna be walking around and stuff and being outside like I should have, this is something that was sent to me last year and I have since repurchased. This is the Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration um, SPF 30. It's sort of like a moisturizer. It comes in different levels of SPF. There's a 12 and a 50, I want to say. I like the 30. It works for me. And um, 
It does have a bit more of a sunscreen odor, but it goes on like a moisturizer. And if you don't miss a spot, it works great. So recommend this. Also, I just picked this up and let me tell you, this has a multitude of uses and I love this stuff. This is the Water Gel Unburn Sunburn Relief and it has 2.5% lidocaine in it. Um, it's just for afterburn. It, it, it cools the skin immediately. In fact, my skin is still so hot, I'm going to put a little on right now. It's a kind of a translucent feel. It has a lemony, alcoholic scent and oh, it just feels, it's instant cold on your skin. And you really shouldn't put this on yourself more than, I think it's three or four times a day. On younger children, you have to read the directions. But this also works great on bug bites, bug, more like stings, bee stings, that kind of thing. It, um, mosquito bites will stop the itching right away. So nice to have on hand. For some reason, I cannot close this. Okay. Last couple things I want to talk about. Uh, sunscreen, again, one of my favorite ones to use in the summer, especially if I am just going to be outside hanging by the pool, is a tinted sunscreen. And my favorite is the Elta MD. This is the UV Physical SPF 41. And it has, it's for sensitive skin. Dermatologist recommended. I got this at my dermatologist. It has a tint. It's almost like a tinted moisturizer. And... I wouldn't say that it's going to add a whole lot of color to your skin, but um, if you have, I would say this and some concealer, and you really could walk out the door. There is a difference, I swear. Maybe not on camera, but just give a little color. Or if you want to add a little color to yourself, you could use this underneath a foundation or a tinted moisturizer. Last couple of products. This is totally random. Another thing I keep in my purse during the summer, and I don't know why I do this because I've never really had to use it, but I always want it just in case, is a little travel size of deodorant. Um, the deodorant that I prefer, I've never seen in a travel size, so I just grab whatever I can find in the travel section, and this is the Secret Invisible Solid. This is the Powder Fresh one, and I'm lucky my deodorant seems to hold up just fine. And I've talked about which one I like, and I'll put it in the description box as well. I cannot stress to you enough how awesome that deodorant is. Deodorant slash antiperspirant. But, um, you know, you might go to the pool or the beach, and then you're going somewhere after, and you're going to need to reapply. And so this is just good to have. It's also good to have, um, okay, again, sharing maybe a little too much, but I've talked about this in a previous video, where you're outside, you're sitting for a long period of time, you start sweating in places other than your armpits. Swipe a little bit of this. In that area and you're good to go this is also good for chafing so if you get sweaty feet in your flip-flops or you're wearing shoes that rub and you're getting a blister you could always put this on it has a lot of uses and so I like having a little pocket deodorant um, I'll even leave this in the car because it's not gonna melt so. two more products so this is a new product for me I am lazy, haven't gone to get my spray tan, haven't done my full body sunless tanner yet, I'm not quite there, but I saw this at Walmart recently and I had to try it. And it is the new, maybe it's not new, it's Malibu Tan Hemp Golden Glow Skin Firming Bronzing Moisturizer. Wow, a lot of wordage there. Um, it's supposed to have CoQ10 to moisturize and firm and reduce wrinkles, I don't know about that. I've only been using this on my legs. This bottle was two bucks. Like seriously, two, just two, two dollars at Walmart. And I'm on day four. And I have definitely noticed a definite tint to my legs and it is not orange. It does, however, kind of smell of sunless tanner. So um, if this is something that really bothers you, maybe put it on only at night. Um, the first night I put it on on my arms and my legs and when I was sleeping I could smell like as I was falling asleep I could smell that smell and it was ugh. but for two dollars and it's not streaking or anything like that I say worth a go and the last thing that I just repurchased because I either ran out of it or accidentally threw out the old one is the after sun kind of lotion even if you have been have done your due diligence and you've used all your sunscreen, you still may feel a little hot and uncomfortable. Not quite sunburned, but not your best self when you come in from outside in the hot sun. And so I love these after sun lotions. And this is the Walmart brand. There is, I guess it won't say what it's compared to, but um, I think it's Banana Boat or Hawaiian Tropic or one of those big brands. 
And this one smells like lime. You will smell divine. And it's cooling. It has aloe vera in it. It just makes you feel good. And this big 20 fluid ounces was, I don't know, five or six dollars. So I think it's a good buy. So those are all my newish products uh, that I am putting back into my rotation in the next few weeks. And um, I think they're great products to have for summer. They're not the only products I recommend for summer, but the most important, they're all sun care related. So if you have any products that you recommend that you think I need to add to my skincare beauty regimen um, routine, please let me know in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.